A robot's workspace is the total volume swept out by the end effector as the manipulator executes all possible motions. The shape of the workspace dictates the applications for which each design can be used. This demonstration lets you load several robot designs to compare their workspaces. You can set the position and range for each joint using sliders. This demonstration creates a serial link robot arm with three joints. That means it has three degrees of freedom and displays the robot workspace, which is the volume swept out by the end effector as the manipulator executes all possible motions. In this demonstration, you can manipulate each joint using the sliders and select from a variety of robot types. The workspaces vary greatly and determine the tasks the robot is suited for. In this demonstration, prismatic joints and the revolute joints are limited by the range sliders R1, R2, and R3. Their range is between negative pi and pi. Now the shape of the workspace indicates where the robots experience Jacobian singularities. So you can see in this picture, it shows that the spherical manipulator at its default position with the end effector pointing along the z-axis. The manipulator can generate instantaneous motion in the plus and minus x, or the blue arrow directions, and in the plus and minus z, which is the red arrow axes, but it cannot move along the plus and y, which is the green arrow axis. That's a singularity. Now in general, it's difficult in Mathematica to draw parametric spaces that are defined by three parameters. So instead, I'm building these workspaces by combining multiple 2D parametric plots. These plots correspond to each parameter being individually set either to its minimum, middle, and maximum values, while the other parameters vary along their full ranges. For the Cartesian manipulator, this results in a cube that is divided into eight smaller cubes. For the other types of robots, for instance the Stanford robot arm, the relation is less intuitive but I encourage you to explore it for yourself. You can play with this demonstration by following the link below. On the behalf of the authors, Benedict Isici, Mohamed Sultan, and Maruthi Chemdupathi, have a great day.